Hi, uh, it's Ken here. We're going to do a little video of, uh, to go along with our Arthrex video about the tower setup on how to set up for shoulder knee arthroscopies with the systems that we have here. Um, we'll throw off all this equipment as we go. Um, we're going to go over a few things that are confusing um, or difficult to put together or whatever. So um, if you want to look at some of the stuff that's in our tray the way we have it set up, um, one of the things you'll notice is that Arthrex's equipment is not... Um, the sheet's not uh, built as one piece, so it comes apart. Um, this can go either way. You can flip these up or down. Um, it will work either way. Um, our surgeons prefer that they uh, open and close towards them when they're operating, so we put it on the operator this way. Um, and you kind of have to wiggle it. The best way is to put your thumb over this and then push with two hands to kind of get this to go together. And once it does, make sure it seats all the way up tight against the top hub here because um, there is a little nut that goes on that afterwards. You just slide it down here and let it catch the threads. Don't get it cross-threaded. And if you do it really lightly and just finger tight, it's fine. And then these will open and close like this. Um, there is a little adapter in here for your light source, depending on how your light source hooks up. Um, and the next thing we'll do is work on hooking up the camera head with the uh, camera uh, lens. So you just put these, like you, there are C-clamp adapters for the quick connects. Some people use those. Here we just use a thread in um, system for their camera. Uh, we have the C-mounts downstairs. It is tricky to get the threads to line up um, as you're working. Uh, it's a very tight tolerance. Um, and then once again, just finger tight. Your focus is adjusted here. So that would be one piece. And this end obviously goes off just like Jordan talked about in his other video. We're just going to kind of lay them across here. Um, normally you would always throw off your water tubing first. Um, now that we're going to talk about equipment side. Um, because you want to get the water flowing to the field first and get the tubing flushed out. Um, so for this, we're going to hand off this portion to the circulator, and they're going to do all their part with it. So I'm just going to drop it here. You would hand it off to them, and you would just keep this end on the field with you. Um, next thing we're going to hand off, um, depending on whether you use inflow and outflow tubing at your facility, that that's uh, not it's an option. You don't have to do it. Um, we're going to use outflow tubing for this setup, so you're going to hand off this cartridge with the waste end of the cord, and we're going to keep the blue and the clear end of the tubing on the field stair. So we hand those off, and that setup for the nursing side is, is done in the other video. So this is going to hook up to our shaver, and uh, the next thing I'm going to hand off is my uh, Apollo, which is their version of the RF uh, device for uh, cautery. Hand that off, and then light source. Always look at your light source when you're handing it off. Make sure you're handing off the correct end. Um, that's a common mistake that we have here. It happens a lot, especially with new people, handing off the wrong end of the light source um, and then realizing it having to get a new uh, setup. Um, last, I'll hand off the shaver. That one's easier to keep track of. So that's a typical thing, a few things that you would hand off. Um, the light source on this one is a quick connect um, that snaps on for Arthrex. You just push them together. Um, a lot of the light sources don't do that. Um, that's one of the advantages of this that we like. So you would hook up that stuff, flush it through, um, and have your water flush to your field. Um, we do package everything into a, a single container um, when it comes up except for our disposables. And that's about it.